In this video, we're going to be looking at working with KPIs in BIME. The first thing we're going to do is create a KPI which compares two different time periods. To do so, we're going to create one date range calculated measure based on users for last month. We specify that here. And let's add this into our query. The next thing we'll do is we'll create a second date range calculated measure, which will take the users from the previous month. Again, we'll make sure the measure is the right one. And in the advanced options, we'll set the date range to two months in the past. When we add this second measure into our query, and change the visualization type to KPI, we can see the last month users and the trend. In order to see the percent of variation in our chart configuration options, we'll check this box here. Ah, that's not a great figure. Let's look at this in more detail. To do this, I'm going to change the query. Let's take out the two measures currently in the query and just add users. And in columns, we can add the year and the month. When we apply this, we'll be able to see the trend appear in the KPI. You can configure this option in chart configurations. You can have the last value, the total value, the average value, and the number of different values. Also, we can select the visualization type from either line, column, or area.